Let's take a look at how you can create some cool looking 3D animations like this in a matter of minutes using a combination of Blockade Labs AI Skybox Generator and Animotive, a real-time VR motion capture tool. Both of these tools have a free to use option and all assets are in the video description if you want to try it for yourself. First, I'll head over to Blockade Labs. In the Blockade Labs AI Skybox Generator, you can enter in a text-based prompt, select a style, and generate a skybox within a matter of seconds. They also give you the option to upload image prompts and even sketch a skybox from your imagination. After a couple of tweaks to my text-based prompt, I'm happy with this skybox. A cyberpunk alleyway scene with some neon signage and some nice reflections on the ground. The next step is to download the skybox. Blockade Labs gives you several options and formats. In this case, I'm just going to download it in PNG format. Now in order to import a skybox into Animotive, we need to resize it to 4K. In this case, I'm just going to do that in Photoshop, but you can use whatever your preferred image editing tool is. So I'm re-exporting the PNG as 4096 by 2048. Now I'm going to hop over to Animotive and set up my project. If you're not sure where to access Animotive, I've left a download link and a link to the Discord in the video description. In this case, I'm going to create my project using the free Dark World template inside Animotive. This gives you access to a bunch of great sci-fi themed characters, sets and props to get started. In Animotive, we're going to import a new set asset that we can apply our skybox to. To create this, I'll hop over to Blender here and show you how easy it is. But if that's too much hassle, then I've included a download link to the basic floor plane set that I've created here. So you can skip this part if you like. But in order to create your own, you can first delete the camera and light in the default Blender scene, and then you just need to resize the cube. I'm going to scale it up 10 times on the X and Y axes, and scale it down to 0.1 on the Z axis. Now we're left with this squashed cube. After that, I'm just going to export this as an FBX file. Then I can hop back over to Animotive and click Import New Asset, and then click Sets and choose the floorplane.fbx that we just created. Once Animotive has finished importing the set, I can select it and navigate to the Spawn Area tab, where it's asking me to select a spawn area. This is essentially identifying a valid area in the scene where you would like to spawn into. In this case, I'll just click at the center here. Next, I can navigate to the Environmental Lighting tab, where under HDRI, I can import the skybox that we generated and resized. After that, we can switch over to Materials and Textures. This step is optional, but I'm actually going to make the floor plane fully transparent so that there's no risk that it will be visible to any of our rendering cameras. Once I've finished with that, I'm just going to rename the set to something sensible and I can click back. This prompts me to save the asset. Now I'm ready to jump into the scene in VR. I can start the session and navigate to the Assets panel and then Sets and select the Cyberpunk Alleyway set. And wow, it looks pretty cool. Time to bring a character in and add some animation. I like the look of Commander Sullivan for this scene. I can click to import him, then click him and click embody to become that character. Then I can hold the Y button on the VR controller to start a capture and click it again to stop the capture. Now that I've got a character animation, the next step is to add a camera but I want this shot to have some handheld camera work. So first I'll add the invisible character who comes with every Animotive project and represents a crew member because they can grab and manipulate objects without being rendered by the cameras. Next I'll add the camera, grab it in the invisible character's hand and repeat the capture process. This time it will play back my previous performance whilst also capturing my new performance as the invisible character. Once that's complete, we can now look to add some lighting continuity between the skybox and the character in the scene. So first of all, I'll go to Tools and Sun. The Sun represents the main directional light source in the scene. So I'm going to quickly match that in color temperature and intensity with the skybox. And then change the angle of emission to align that. Next, I want to add some spotlights that are angled from the direction of some of these visual light sources in the skybox starting with this hot pink neon sign. After positioning the spotlight, I can modify some parameters until I'm happy with the effect. And I'll just repeat the process for some of the other main visible light sources.
So the only thing that's missing for me is some shallow depth of field to add a subtle separation between the character and the background. To achieve that, I can open the properties panel of the camera, navigate to the depth of field tab, enable it, and select and validate an autofocus target. And then adjust the aperture until the background has a nice level of blur. And the beautiful thing about the autofocus target is that the focal distance will automatically adjust if the distance between the camera and the target varies throughout the shot. After a quick review, it looks like this shot is good to go. So I'm gonna click on panels and export, and then click export. And after a few seconds, my video file has been exported from Animotive and is ready to share. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've left links to all the assets and tools used so you can follow along. And I'd love to see what you come up with. So please join the Animotive Discord and upload your creations to the Animotive Videos channel.